So now let's look at all the upgrades. The first upgrade is I removed an entire cable management system from the, from the right side of the machine and a composite panel. I have also removed the one that was here and I have moved it to the back in a different configuration and there's absolutely no way that that's going to go ahead and crash into anything. So that's great. I have done the upgrade here on the emergency button, which is once I press that emergency button, the cable for the router here, the DeWalt router, gets connected directly to the control box. And that will allow me now to turn that emergency power switch off to the entire unit not just the drive motors of the machine. I have also upgraded the XY limit switches as well as the limit switch for the Z into just two 3D printed parts. In the process, the wire management system when it comes out of the IGUS cable, I have 3D printed a part that you can see now. And that 3D printed part allows us to see all of the cables coming out and see which one we're troubleshooting if you're ever to change a cable or to do something differently. One of the things that I like to do, by the way, when I assemble a machine is make sure that it is intuitive for anyone else that gets close to it to see where all the wiring is. I have done so by, if it is blue, it refers to the Y direction. If it is orange, as it goes here, refers to the Z direction. And if it is yellow, it refers to the X direction. So when I look at any of the wiring controlled to the box, simply by how it's connected into the motor box, it's all very clear. And I do that frequently in any assembly because it, it makes it easier to troubleshoot system and minimizes, oops, I did the wrong thing. If you like this machine and how it's configured, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos on how to make things with the machine. Any CNC machine, uh, how to design a, a machine like this, how to do the analysis that goes with these machines. And more importantly, how to just look at engineering and just have fun with this type of stuff. Take it apart, learn from it, cat it up, see how it works. That's how I got into all of this engineering stuff. It was by taking things apart. It wasn't by going into school. Going into school, you do that after you have fun with it. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video and a little bit of the upgrades. Cheerio!